closing, I want to make you people to understand some spiritual things that which will make you to not succeed in this ember months. Brothers and sisters, just get ready for the power that God wishes uh, you have been looking for. The grace of God that which every one of us have been after. Everybody begin to ask themselves, in this ember month, how am I going to now end it all? People begin to now ask themselves, in this ember month, how am I going to make it? In this ember month, now the year is about to come to an end. What are the things that God is giving now by the blessings that God has released to me? Should I have them before the ending of the month? In this ember month, they are now crying. Day and night, crying. Day and night. Every man, every woman out there crying. How am I going to survive before December? In this ember month, there are some certain things that which you need to now to do in order to not make you to succeed. Because the things that you need to do, brethren, the hour has come once again. This time around, I want you people to now just get ready. This time around, I want you people to now come over. This time around, I don't want you people to now be in one place and say, and I knew. Now listen to what I am about to tell you. Because you cannot be in life, in this life, and begin to now hold for nothing. You cannot be old for nothing. Many have succeeded in this ember month. For the past years, many are about to succeed again in the ember month. Also, many have suffered and many have also died in ember months. But that shall never ever be your portion. Because touch not my anointing and do my children no harm. Touch not my anointing. Do not touch my anointing and do not touch my prophet. So why I am saying this one, listen to me carefully. I want to talk about the things that which you have to now to do in order to the ember month to favor you. Now, what are the things that which you need to do in order to now, the ember to now make you to now be favored? There are things that which you need to do, brothers and sisters. Just get ready and listen to me again and again. In life, your age, your size, that's what I'm not about to talk about. I know that nobody has taught telling you or nobody has told you about these things. I have to now tell you all these things so that you can now begin to now follow them in order to make it. So that your age shall not be wasted. So that the things that which you have been yeah, you have been pursuing the year shall not be wasted. What I'm talking about the age, because time is not waiting for you and I, and also days are not waiting for you, years are not waiting for you. There are some certain things that you need to do in order to receive the blessings of Christ. Now, in your family, I said you have to, to go and take that. Every one of you go and now take that and say, they, they look at that picture. Look at that photo that which I am talking about. Take a look at that, uh, that uh, carbon. It's like a carbon copy, but it's not a carbon copy. Look at that thing on the, 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 the paper. Something is written there. The age. Your age. And the size. I want to talk about the age. You cannot get old for nothing. You cannot have white hair for nothing. Because the, in this ember month, the things you need to do them, the many you will not do them, you will not receive the blessings of Christ. Number two, I come to the height. Now, it is clearly stated there. The Bible says, listen carefully. The Bible says in the book of First Samuel, First Samuel 17, verse 4. It is clearly stated there. I want to talk about the size. Let me tell you the size of the size. The size, the people that who are now attacking you, the size I'm talking about. There was a man we called Goliath right in Israel. The Philistines now sent somebody in order to now to put them to shame and defeat them. You know what happened? They go and carry a man that will have a size. And this size of the height of the man is six feet cubic. And this is called, the, the spam of the man is very high. What I'm trying to tell you is this. Listen very carefully. I'm talking about the size of every man. What is the size? This man, the brothers and sisters, and also the king, 
of Israel, they try to now, the Israelites try to now bring this man, this battle down, this man down, all Goliath. But there was no way for them to beat him down because of the size. <laughs> because of the size, at any time that they went come to the, 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 the place of valley where they were now killing his father, the battlefield, and they will now begin to not bring out the man of the size of the man because of the size. Fear began to not grip the people of Israel. The Bible says, No way, no point can be finished. But one thing that happened that which I am about to tell you, no one has told you this one, let me say it to you. The Bible talks about the size. The Bible talks about the size and the facilities that the man carried. The Bible talks about Goliath. So, who is Goliath? In this environment, there are people that who are now having big size, a high size, bigger than you, that pulling you down. You need somebody, you need, you are a person that who, you need somebody to come and represent you. In order to not fight this battle for you, God sent David in order to present his in order to pull this down the size. There are people in your family, they are boasting that without me, nobody can now, no, no, fam, no family meeting. The people are boasting. Without me, nobody can do anything. That is, I'm talking about the size. Hey, we don't look at the size. David moved and walked with the grace of God. The grace of God destroys sizes. We don't know the size that you carry in your village. Is it that we call it in other words, a strong man, the strong woman? Strong for what? When you look at them, some of them stand in your village and are very small, smallish in stature. But the size is spiritual. <laughs> you cannot take them compare. So I want to tell you people something very important. Listen to me. Who are thou that who are the people that who are not blocking you in the size of your life? Who don't want you to be intimidating you, the size that they carry in order for you to buy your houses and build your houses, buy your cars, marriage, and making you to seek. Hey, there are people that were married. When you go to the marine kingdom, you go to the coven. Even the women, when you watch Nigerian movies, you can see telling us about the coven. The size of the queen, the size of the king, the seats that they are sitting, cannot use it to compare. They cannot use it to compare this, the other ones that would arrive, the four members. So they use those things to intimidate you. But now the Goliath, nobody to put this man down. But something very important that happened. Something very important that happened. They now sent for somebody. God sent a man in order to now stand, in order to defend the Israelites. The Philistines brought the man up called Goliath. The Goliath in your family, because of the size, that which is and which are. We have been hearing of that strong man. We have been hearing of that strong woman. In this environment, hey, the grace that is in me, I want you people to now to get ready for, for in order to enjoy the blessings. Now, I want to also now let you people know something very important. That size, as Goliath's size deceived him, I repeat, as Goliath's size deceived him, so also your enemy's size in your village, your compound, ha, in your household will deceive them. Why? Because I want to let you people know one thing. Very important. Who said you cannot buy a car? Who is that person using the size to press you in your dreams? Who is that person that's using her own size to press you for you not to now marry? Who using the size for you, your business not to move forward? Look at your life. Ember Mott, some time ago, last year, there are things that you're supposed to receive in Ember Mott. God that blesses us. But now, because of the size that they carry, they used to now press us. But you are somebody. I am here to represent King David in order to now. You are the Israelites will be at my back. In order for you to now, to destroy that evil man, that strong woman, that strong man. No wonder the Bible also says in the book of Zechariah 4 verse 7, Hey, who art thou mountains that standing to block women and men and women out there? Hey, it's time for them to be smooth and replay. Because the hour has come 
Who are that mountain that will have the big size and blocking you? Who is that person that who are that strong man and strong woman? Who is that unfriendly friend that who have a small status and is spiritually very big? Sometimes at, at trees, we are seeing some snakes. We cannot keep them very big. Those are the size I'm talking about. There are some people I'm talking about. In a dream, you see a giant man appear. You cannot fit him. You cannot even do anything to the person. That's the size I'm talking about. You can see some people are very small pursuing you. You are not pursuing them. That is the size I'm talking about. I am talking about the spiritual principalities and powers. The same oil that we have used your other time. Remember? Remember? This oil. David said it to you. He will prepare a table in the presence of your enemies so that the people that are in that company, there are some people that who are now in the house rate. They cannot pay the house rate. You know why? There's a size they used to now to pull them down. What are the sizes, number one? In your company, they want you to be in that house rate forever. They want you to pay house rate forever. No, if a landlord, a landlady can now build a house for you to now rent, what about you? There are some certain things that you're also going to do in order for you to now be a landlord and a landlady. This time around, go and get the oil again because touch not my anointing, it is written. Go and get the oil, go and get that. You can see the placard there. Uh -huh. Your name and your size. Write it, your shoe size I'm talking about. Because any nobody can now use it, your movement to now to defeat you. In this embargo, war. In this embargo, war. I'm telling you, I declare war. I shall be your David. And your enemies, they will not get ready as Goliath. Let us go ahead and see. But I will, after this, our meeting, whether you will not buy that car, let us see. Whether you will not give that, you will not, that, that, you will not give that. Let us see. The grace that God has given to me in order to smooth the cricket ways and also the mountains. Oh, so time has come. Go and get it. The placard is very important to you. That written side, I will tell you what to do about that placard. Your name and your size. <laughs> hey, so every size, the size that which the enemies have not used in order to press you this time for you not to succeed. Think you will see what I'm talking about. Hey, don't look at my size. Don't look at my size and don't begin to not press me. But look onto the grace that I carry. So today I want to tell you people, whatever you are, come on, get ready. The date is there. On the screen, check the dates. Therefore, come to the mountains. From now, we have started. From now, we have started. Because I want you people to receive a lot of things that which you have been looking for in life. So that you shall never ever be a person that left over. Please, every strong man and who have a big size, who are saying that with, without me, she cannot buy car. Without me, she cannot marry. Without me, she will be poor forever. He will be poor forever. Hey, this time, no, 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 no. We have known their secrets. Come to Mercy City. It will be dangerous because you are a dangerous person. The line of tribe of Judah is in you. Get your oil, continue. Get it and get that black card. Come over. Your life shall never ever. Your size will be bigger than them. We don't look at size now. Why? When the people of the king said, Hey, David, your size is too small to fight this battle. Not knowing that what David carries is more than the size of the Philistines. Goliath. So we don't look at size. Don't look at me like this. That if I pray, if I pray for you, you know what? I lie. Many have come today. They have built houses, they have built millionaires, they have built millionaires. It's your time now. This, from this empire mod, hey, it's your turn to buy your cars, your houses, marriages, and good health. Go to abroad and you talk to Who is that person that's blocking you at the embassy? Who is that person that's blocking you at the airport? Who is that person that's blocking you at your gates? That size has nothing to do. What I carry, the place, the double place I carry, I want to walk on. Try my God. God will bless you. The light shall never ever remain the same. Come to Mercy Prophet Jeremiah Mugufufu is waiting for you. Papa J, no brother, no sister. Their size, their height will deceive them. Which is the